Hey friends, welcome back to Hot News. It's a glorious Wednesday. We skipped yesterday because there just wasn't a whole lot for us to do news on, but we're back today and we're brought to you by Displates. Go to displate.com forward slash UFD Tech Official and get these dope metal prints, which are gorgeous. You got anime, you got nature, you got basically everything that you could possibly want in glorious fashion, amazing artwork. And if you use coupon code UFD, you can save 15% off your order. That's amazing. And they plant 10 trees for every display ordered. They've already planted over 10 million trees. It's crazy. And also just this episode isn't brought to you by the LTT store, but I just got my shipment in. Look at this hoodie, stealth hoodie. Also, Reese, toss me my underwear. Oh, what was that? I've got Linus Tech Tips underwear. The only complaint that I have about this hoodie is that I'm left-handed and I use my phone on my left side. The phone pocket's on the right side. This is, this is discrimination. I don't like it. Anyways, let's get into the hot news. So let's go ahead and talk about the title of today's video, which is just the fact that DRAM pricing, at least the indication of which way the price is gonna go, is really crazy right now. We've done several reports on different episodes of hot news about how there is an ongoing trade war between Japan and South Korea, which is going to lead to DRAM price increases. And then there is also a power outage at the Tos Toshiba factory, which is also gonna re lead to some price increases. And then on top of that, there's just a few other things that could potentially spike the prices of DRAM, including reports that it's already gone up 20% at wholesalers. However, there's a new report coming out from the market research company, Gar Partner, which is reporting that DRAM prices could go down 42% more this year on top of the price decrease that we've already seen. This is due to bad forecasting and lack of demand where the supply is over created and now everybody wants to buy it. This is a really, really strange indication of a report coming out. It doesn't seem to take into account the current trade issues, but rather uh, just how forecasting wasn't really there. It's strange that the report is on oversupply and not the current geopolitical climate that could affect DRAM prices. But at the moment, I mean, if you just go look on PC Part Picker, prices are as good as they've ever been. It doesn't look like any of the price increases or decreases have really come to consumers just yet, but it just goes to show that like everybody's on their own bandwagon and reporting whatever they want. A 42% price decrease would be amazing and I would love it, but at the same time, there's also tons of actual indicators that are showing that's not gonna happen. We'll have to see where this goes in the future, but RAM pricing going up, going down, staying the same, it, 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 ah, it doesn't make any sense because I've already had indication on some retailers who haven't been able to place DRAM orders because there isn't a supply due to the trade war. So freaking, what? what? What's going on? Do you know? Does anybody know? Or is everybody just guessing at life? I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna move on to the next one, which is the 2080 Super. Yay, that launched yesterday. We'll have a review coming out on the 2080 Super Game Rock Edition from Palette just soon. Uh, we're gonna have to release our 2070 Super review first, but that's neither here nor there. We'll have that coming out. But apparently indications indicate that it's like 1080 Ti level performance for 1080 Ti level price. And then if you're on Ryzen 3000 or any other Ryzen chip, there is a new overclocking feature that you can potentially take advantage of. However, not without some caveats. So it's a CCX overclocking tool, which allows you to overclock core complexes rather than the CPU as a whole, which means you can get better gaming performance if you're just keeping your cores on one CCX as opposed to trying to divide it up and going over Infinity Fabric. So it looks like a pretty cool tool. However, there are some some indications, especially from overclockers out there, saying that this could kill your CPU depending on how your motherboard is controlling the VRM. If it's set to an offset mode, you could burn it out with stupidly high voltage and it could ruin your CPU. So do this only if you really need it and only if you actually know what you're doing and only if you're sure that your motherboard is actually controlling things the way that you think it's controlling things and not screwing around because you could ruin your chip, but you could also unlock some really cool performance. So buyer beware. Speaking of buyer beware, I don't know why I said that at first, but now it makes sense in the transition. Silicon Lottery, the website known for selling bin CPUs where they make sure that it can hit a certain frequency at a certain voltage, has released their pricing indicators for Matisse or Ryzen 3000. The base level stuff starts at the exact MSRP of Ryzen 3000, so you can get a 3700X for $320, and that one has been to 4.1 gigahertz. But if you want the best 3700, 
400X, which they have at 4.15 gigahertz, that's an extra $20. However, the Ryzen 9 3900X starts at $470, which is the $30 price decrease over a stock one, and that's guaranteed for four gigahertz on all cores. The highest bin one at 4.2 gigahertz is gonna set you back a measly $810. So however you wanna get it, if you want a bin CPU, you can be guaranteed by a silicon lottery to hit these frequencies at the 1.25 volts that they specify. I guarantee it. And this next story is something that I really love because in case you don't know, back on the UFD Tech Channel years ago, I did a PC build where we water cooled a g gaming PC, I think it was a 6700K and a 980 on top of an Xbox One, so we had an entire one loop system for both of them, well, Origin has come out with what they're dubbing the big O. It has all three major consoles, PlayStation 4 Pro, Xbox One X, and Switch on top of a gaming PC with a 9900K and a Titan RTX, all thrown into one, liquid cooled. It's amazing, I love it, I would love this. Check out our video where we water cooled the Xbox One. It's a terrible video that I didn't know how to make videos back then, so, but. Go watch our UFD Tech video. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and checking out a little bit of the Logitech C920 HD Pro webcam. It's gonna be awesome, yeah. And then speaking of the Switch and Nintendo, there's a class action lawsuit for the Joy-Con drift that has been there since the freaking console has released. Apparently there's just now enough pressure to get the Nintendo to address this, and they have. They've come out and said, Check our support page, we'll fix it for free. So they're not admitting that this is an actual issue where the Joy-Con controller drifts for no reason, but they're also now fixing it for free. What the heck, Nintendo? What are you doing? It's like he's trying to speak to me, I know it! And then, let's talk about Disney, who is just really going ham on everything, and I hate it. They are in rumor speculation, in talks about buying Activision Blizzard just to have a monopoly freaking everywhere. Great. Mickey Mouse and Overwatch, this is what nobody wants. Let's talk about Tetris Effect, which is the Battle Royale Tetris game. Didn't thought that exists? Well, it does. It's coming to PC. You can check that out. Also has a VR experience. And then, in case you uh, care at all about ride share economy stuff like that and the gig economy, well, you might have heard a story about how DoorDash doesn't really pay its employees employees very well because they guarantee their drivers a specific rate and if somebody tips, the tip goes to like that rate and they don't get the surplus, it just lowers the cost of what DoorDash is gonna pay them anyways. So when you're tipping on DoorDash, it doesn't work. Well, their CEO has come out and said, uh, yeah, we're gonna fix that, especially after Uber Eats was like, hey, we actually tip our drivers properly. And then Uber Eats just got a deal with Starbucks where they're gonna deliver everywhere in the, the entire United States by early 2020. They're gonna be rolling it out to 11 cities right now. But if you want your mocha joka frappuccino baloca with no whip, hold the frat and add soy, you can get it at home. Do you like dystopian futures? Yeah! I don't. Reese does. He's shaking his head yes, nodding his head yes. Well, there's a new bill going through the United States House of Representatives talking about how they're gonna ban facial recognition from federally funded housing. I think this is a great idea. I, do, I think that just facial recognition used by the government anywhere is not a really good idea even though it's used in a lot of places. I don't like it. I don't like people watching me, except for I put my face out on the internet for millions of people to see every month, but that's neither here nor there. Let's move on to the next story, which is Alphabet's intranet balloons. I mean, we have Amazon with the blue sky thing launching space satellites. You got SpaceX launching their space satellites. Google's got balloons, okay? And they just logged a million hours in the stratosphere. Balloons are a million hours old. Apple's patent has just come out for mixed reality headset. It's kind of cool, except for I don't really care. It was published in March. I don't know. Like mixed, ugh. it's just not good right now. We'll see if it gets anywhere. But in the biggest gotcha of the entire year, Apple, who is playing 8D chess against Intel, where they signed a deal to 
stop the lawsuits with Qualcomm and use their modem technology because Intel actually wasn't doing a good job and Apple couldn't actually develop their modem chips in time for 5G. Well, they are now in talks with Intel to actually buy their modem business after Intel revealed that they're shutting down the modem business and just going to be selling off its IP. Apple playing the game that nobody else wants to, forcing Intel to sell their business and then buying it up so that they can actually just produce their own chips like they wanted to all along. Damn. Wow. Speaking of wow, wowing on out of this episode of Hot News, don't forget to check out Display. It's displate.com forward slash UFT Tech Official. Look at how gorgeous those metal prints are. They're amazing. They, they hang to the wall on magnets. Slap them on. They're just thin metal. Love it. Anyways, hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode of Hot News. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our news related content. I'm Brett. You've just been filled in, and I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Bye. Cool story, bruh. <laughs>